Hey guys, Tony here. Week 3 picks for the NFL starting with Thursday night football between the Cleveland Browns and the New York Jets. This is my lock of the week already. I have a perfect record for Thursday night games this week. The Browns get that first win in quite some time on national TV. They played their games close. After a win, they would have a 1-1-1 one and one and one record. So a victory, a loss, and a draw. They're going to do that against New York. They scored 39 points combined, the Saints and the Browns last week. So that's my lock of the week is the Browns. <laughs> Funny enough, but I'd be really shocked if they don't get that win on primetime TV. Vikings and the Bills. Minnesota's going to win. The Bills are the worst team in the NFL this year. The Giants and the Texans. You know, Odell Beckham hasn't scored a touchdown yet this year. He's got 38 touchdowns. His next touchdown is going to be number 39. This touchdown is going to happen at Houston, Texas. And it is Eli Manning that is going to lose game number 36. Or it doesn't lie with Eli Manning's record. It lies with Bill O'Brien's record. So his 36 regular season loss is going to occur against Eli Manning. It is Manning that equals 36 in Gematria. Regular season loss number 36 for Bill O'Brien. It is Houston, Texas that equals 39. Odell Beckham and the Giants are going to get the victory to have a 1-2 and two record. And the Houston Texans to struggle and to be 0-3. So that is it for the Houston Texans, cellar dwellers in the division. Packers and the Redskins win number 99 for Aaron Rodgers in the regular season at our nation's capital. As you see right there, it is the United States of America that equals 99. So I like Green Bay a lot this upcoming week. And it's going to be a really interesting NFC East. Uh, it's going to be a pretty tight division early on in the season. So here are the 49ers and the Chiefs. I like Kansas City. I think the L.A. Rams will also be 3-0 and after playing the L.A. Chargers this week. 3-0 and for Andy Reid this year. He was born in L.A., California, Los Angeles, California. Uh, Win-loss total for Kansas City, 27 losses. I think that remains at 27 losses against a team from, not from San Francisco, but from Santa Clara. Santa Clara equals 27 in Gematria. Patrick Mahomes, Kansas City with the victory. And then that schedule gets a little tough for these guys. Uh, Raiders and the Dolphins. I really like Oakland. That first win in Raider fashion on the road. Didn't happen against the rival Denver Broncos, but against Miami. I like the Raiders a lot. They're getting better on a weekly basis. They hung with the LA Rams, and they only lost by one, and they controlled the game against Denver until whatever happened in that fourth quarter. It's Miami, Florida. That equals 36. And Derek Carr... He's going to remain at 36 regular season losses. A lot of teams are going to go 1-2 and two this week for a reason. It has to do with number 12. It has to do with the year of the comeback. Uh, the year of the comeback, the year of the comeback, I think we're going to see some teams climb back in the playoff picture. The Oakland Raiders are one of them, and the Redskins will be one of them after this upcoming week. So after the coming weeks, Colts and the Eagles, Carson Wentz is return, but the Indianapolis Colts are going to win that football game week three. The reason why this game is being played on week three, it is because the Super Bowl is going to be played on a date of 2-3, February the 3rd. This game is on the 23rd day. The Eagles are the defending Super Bowl champion. Part of this riddle involves the Colts. For the first time, going over 500 this year after beating the Super Bowl champion. And they have to play against Carson Wentz. 
Carson Wentz took over the spotlight last year. Then Andrew Luck and the Colts are going to take over the spotlight. Everyone's going to talk about that AFC South. So Indianapolis, I like over the Philadelphia Eagles. The Indianapolis Colts over the Eagles. Andrew Luck, I'm sure I can find something with Philadelphia here. Jaguars beat the Titans. I like Carolina to go ahead and beat the Bengals at home. I think the Steelers and the Ravens will climb right back into the picture. Ravens beat the Denver Broncos. I like the Falcons over the Saints. At home, that's my... That's my iffy game, really. That's my iffy game. Well, actually, I'll think about that game in the moment. Rams beat the Chargers. The Arizona Cardinals pick up win number one against the Bears. The Khalil Mack trade is going to backfire. Now, the reason, now the reason why I have the Cardinals beating the Bears is number one. Steve Wilkes' first victory would come against the Chicago Bears. It is. The Arizona Cardinals that used to play in Chicago. This game is at Glendale. It is at Arizona too. It is Steve Wilkes that used to coach the Bears. He coached them in Super Bowl 41 against the Colts as a defensive backs coach, I think. So in other words, he coached the Bears in the Super Bowl that they lost to when they played Indianapolis the last time the Colts won the Super Bowl. The same week that Luck beats the Eagles it is Steve Wilkes that's going to pick up his first win. As an NFL coach, uh, the Cowboys to beat the Seahawks. I think the Hawks will be one and one after beating the Bears, and then one and two at home. The Cowboys beat Russell Wilson at Seattle. Patriots over the Lions. The Pittsburgh Steelers over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers on Monday Night Football. And for the New Orleans Saints at the Atlanta Falcons. First step here is going to the NFC South and what the picture is. Well, the Falcons here, they'll probably win the division this year. New Orleans Saints are shaky. I like Atlanta to win this game. And after what happened in a Thursday night football game last year on the road for the Saints, I think they're due for a little payback. They got robbed in that game. You know, all this what goes around comes around kind of thing. And I wonder if the Bucs and the Falcons have a game against each other, you know, on top of the division. Or let's go to Buccaneers schedule. The Buccaneers schedule and, and who they play in the coming weeks. That first divisional game. Not working here. They shot Dak. Uh, they Sean Jackson, but they touched down last week. That's something to look out for. So yes, that first divisional game against the Falcons. I think the Falcons are due for a victory against the New Orleans Saints. Uh, Saints are probably not that good with that defense this year. So this is all my picks for the upcoming week. And once again, rigging by the numbers, and I have. The Chicago Bears over, or excuse me, the Seattle Seahawks over the Chicago Bears on Monday Night Football tonight.